SQL Server 2012 database design. This is Kalman Tov. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and also in your local bookstore. Let's consider common table expression. A short for it CTE. The CTE expression must start with a semicolon or the go before or the previous statement before should have a semicolon. So if we want to play it safe, we can just put the semicolon before a with. And when we have a CTE name, which is in this case just CTE, and we have a column definition. These are the column aliases for the select columns. We can name it differently. It doesn't have to be the same name. For example, we don't even need this here because we call it sales year here the same, so we can take it out. The CT itself is um, an independent subquery, so this one we can just highlight it and try it. Execute. Let's try it again. So this is the query. This is what we have to highlight. This is the subquery, which is part of a CTE definition. And it returns 3,809 rows. And we don't have column definition for a uh, year order date, but we have an alias assigned in the CTE, so we don't have to worry about it. The main query can use the CTE as a virtual table. So since it's a virtual table, we can inner join it with person.person .person on salesperson ID and this is a foreign key, and business entity ID, which is a primary key in the person.person .person table. The objective of uh, inner joining the CT with person.person .person table is to get the name of a salesperson, because we don't want to display for end users the salesperson ID, which is a meaningless number. And when we have a group by query, now in the group by clause, we cannot use the column alias. We can only use the column alias in the order by clause. So here we have to take the entire concat expression to make it a group by key. So we get the year and the detailed total due sales person ID, sales order ID from the CTE. We are joining in person dot person to get the first name and last name. And with a group by, we are creating two aggregates. One is the count aggregate, which is a count of ordered items, and the other is the total sales value. We are using the new format, which is new to SQL Server 2012, and this is currency with zero decimals, culture is English US, CONCAT is also new to SQL Server 2012. So let's execute it. And here is the result. Let's scroll down. 
Gillian Carson, 2005, and this is in 2006, and this is in 2007. Now, 2008 has partial, partial year data. With CTE, we can structure a complex query to be more readable, to be easier to maintain. So basically, it helps us with good programming. Prior to CTE, we could use uh, derived tables, but we could not do the same neat things we can do with a CTE. In summary, common table expression, or CTE, is um, an ideal programming construct to achieve structured programming to simplify the complexities of the queries. It is a fancy version of uh, derived tables, and uh, also CTE can do something which was not doable before, we can do tree processing with CTE, which is based on recursion. This is the end of a short demo.